Greetings, Earthlings. This is Alan Boyle, Aerospace and Science Editor with GeekWire. And we're going to be talking today about the future of the office. And uh, here we are in the office of Blue Dot, uh, which is a startup that is working on innovations uh, in the future. And we've got a couple of guests uh, who are working at Blue Dot as well, but working in a different sort of way. So uh, first, introduce yourself, Scott, and tell us uh, what you're doing. Uh, great to be with you. Yes, my name is Scott Parazinski. I'm the Consulting Chief Technology Officer with Blue Dot, and I'm actually speaking to you from Houston, Texas. And uh, you're a former astronaut, and uh, is this the sort of thing that you ever imagined you'd be doing <laughs> when you were in the astronaut corps? It, it's sort of uh, Jetsons-like, but uh, actually I did. Uh, you know, we've been using telemedicine and, and telepresence for many, many years in the space program, so uh, this is just the next logical step, uh, and it's a great way for those of us that live in different places to collaborate together. Saves a lot of time. Okay, great. And then we also have Deepak coming in here from, uh, from Blue Dot, and uh, so he's been working in his office and uh, now joins us. <laughs> Deepak, great to see you. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, Alan, I'm Deepak Savadati. I'm the COO at uh, Blue Dot. Yeah, my background is I'm a double E, you know, spent 23 years in the semiconductor industry. And uh, currently I'm coming live from Palo Alto, my home office. But this is your home office, right? That uh, you, This is where you spend all your time. Does that ever get confusing? Where are you? Yeah, that, that actually happens, you know. My my kids are surprised that uh, this is working out so well because it's uh, we feel like we're all sitting together pretty much, you know, eight hours a day, um, and and uh, it's as real as it's going to get. The the very fact that I can move in and out uh, gives me a lot of freedom to be able to have a real work day. This point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can see. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you do see what's right under you. So yes, yes, I right. do. And then sure. I can also kind of zoom in mm -hmm. uh, uh, on what I'm seeing. So if, mm -hmm. if somebody's showing him something on a computer, he can uh, zoom in. And then I can I can move it around. Wow. Uh huh. <laughs> you, you can kind of. It's like you're focusing. On, exactly. uh, on somebody's uh, face, you're trying to read what the what the uh, body language is, perhaps. <laughs> it, 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 in fact, you're absolutely right. It is so realistic that I, right now I can kind of see, you know, what you're thinking potentially, you know, what mm -hmm. your reaction is, you know, not just the words that I'm getting on a phone call, mm -hmm. but I can actually see. And if you want to write something down and you want to say, hey, look, I think it works this way, I can actually we can interact that way too. Blue Dot CEO Naveen Jain went down the hall just to show us how he could use his smartphone as an interface for a robot in the office. He's talking to me through the robot. So uh, I could be anywhere. I could be uh, having a, at Starbucks having a cup of coffee <laughs> and I still be in the same meeting enjoying it at the same time. So Blue Dot seems to be involved in so many things from, from health to uh, robotics uh, and so many people are talking about the Zika virus. Have you got something going on with the Zika virus? Well, you know what? Who would know the best about that would be Scott Parajinsky with our science as a science advisor. So why don't we just call Scott and hey Scott? Hey, yeah, how can I help? Come on in, Scott. <laughs> Hey Scott. Sure. <laughs> Scott Parazinski, former astronaut and Everest climber. Uh, we were That's just great. talking about uh, the health aspects of the Blue Dot business and. Hey Scott, maybe I was thinking maybe Deepa can give a little bit more information on um, our other thing that we are really excited about on the micro uh, microbiome and how the bacteria actually in our gut controls who we are. And even though we are so proud of who we are, but really we are in all, in some sense being controlled by these tiny bacteria. Hey, Deepak. Hey, Deepa. I mean, what's up? Can you come in? Absolutely. Hey. Wow, you're coming in fast here. <laughs> it's getting crowded in here. <laughs> uh, how are you guys doing? Good. All right. This allows us to find the greatest mind uh, wherever they are and essentially have them work on the problem that really matters. I mean, if I were to ask Scott that the only way you could work at Blue Dot is you have to physically move here, and the chance would have been I would have lost him. Because there is no way he's going to give up his life where he is 
uh, because his daughter is there, his children there, his wife is there, they're all, uh, you know, there are an n number of reasons why people can't move. And now this allows the things to, for us to come together to solve the big problems. When they need to step away from the office, Deepak and Scott can just roll their robots across the room into their respective electrical charging stations. So is the, this the future of the office? Uh, are we going to have robots working with humans in the offices of the future? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot to be done, a lot of technology. These guys have to get some arms and then we'll see how that works. <laughs> but I feel like I've gotten to know these guys a lot better today even though they're hundreds or thousands of miles away. And so even though they don't have arms, I've got a couple of arms to put around my new friends in the office. <laughs>